thank you for tuning in to GospelInsiderNews.com. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, there isn't a whole lot to say about this except that people are angry about this year's celebration of gospel. Now, the gospel special actually aired on Sunday, April 6th, and many churchgoers have sounded off on social media regarding the fact that there were an abundance of secular artists on the stage. Now, there were some notable differences. For example, Steve Harvey, the original host of the celebration of gospel, was replaced by actress Taraji Henson. Nobody knows why. But here is what we do know. This year, the network chose to pair gospel and R&B artists such as Ruben Studdard, Pastor Leandria Johnson, and Kim as a trio. Andy Irie teamed up with Jonathan McReynolds for a special performance, and the female group SWV joined with the Rance Allen group to sing on stage as well. That's just some of the appearances that were made. Now, the Old Black Church blog actually asked a very pointed question. The question was, how can you celebrate gospel when there is no gospel? So what are your thoughts? Do you believe that this was a successful celebration of gospel? Or do you believe that the secular artists were simply used to draw a crowd to this year's show? You know we want to hear what you're thinking. This is Tamika Hall for GospelInsiderNews.com. Now that you know the news, don't forget to spread it. Thank you for watching today's episode. And while you're at it, please pick up my newest single, Here I Am, available on iTunes, Amazon, and pretty much everywhere. And while you're at it, don't forget to tune into my daily podcast, the Exploding Worship Arts Podcast, featuring interviews with your favorite artists and worship leaders worldwide on www.tamikahall.net.